Hello, y'all. I'm on Tezu. In Tezu, I'm doing over Tez Iron Shop. Being the 17th for the 3rd, 2024, shit house in the shop. First, we have Luke Skywalker here, back from Chapter 4, Chapter 3, Sin 4. He has the Jedi Knight, and Sloped Edsel. He's a pretty cool stint. I'm happy he's not a Battle Pass stint, as it allows other people to get him. This is his letter style, that's pretty clean, and he comes with the training remote battling. Then we have the X-34 uh, land speeder here from Chapter 3, Sin 4, pretty clean glider. And the Slug Porf Rifle here from Chapter 3, Sin 4. Then we have the Han Solo and Leia Ordana bundle here with the Han Solo stint here from Chapter 3, Sin 4. He has the Duster and the Rebel General Edit Styles. He's a pretty cool stint. This is his little style and he has the Millennium Falcon Backling. Then we have the Leia Ordana stint here from Chapter 3, Sin 4. She has the Bouchard Disguise and Bouchard Disguise Cape Edit Styles. She's pretty clean. She also has headgear off for all the edit styles too. She's pretty nice. This is her letter style in terms of the R2-D2 backling. Then we have the Electro, electro Staff here from Chapter Reason 4 and the Vibro Staff here from Chapter Reason 4. One thing I hate about Star Wars pickaxes is uh, that they're very bad on the original because look how similar these two look. You can get it all separately too, but the only thing I would buy separately are the stins. Do not buy the pickaxes. They're not worth it. Then we have the Boba Fett bundle here back. The Boba Fett's in here from Chapter 3, Sin 1. He comes with a trained computer um, online uh, built-in emote. This is his letter style, and he comes with the, G uh, the Z6 jetpack. It's pretty nice. And we have the Graphire stick here from Chapter 3, Sin 1. And then we have the Boba Fett's starship here from Chapter, chapter 3, Sin 1. One good thing about the Star Wars, they have really good lighters, just really bad pickaxes. You get it all set by two. So, then we have Mr. Beast 6000 still here, same with Invincible, Lucky, and Lucky, Lucky Offers. Same with all these letter kits. Then we have the Bright Storm uh, Bomber bundle here back. It comes with the Bright Storm Bomber here from Chapter 2, Sin 6. She's a pretty cool stint. She comes with the Cloud Burst Bomber edit style. This is her letter style, and she comes with the Dordo battling. Dordo, of course, has the Stormy Torn edit style. Dormo, Dordo is a very cute little guy. And then we have the Breezy Bashers here from Chapter 2, Sin 5. It has the Cloud uh, Basher edit style. Oh, she's from Chapter 2, Sin 5, not 6. Well, my bad. I don't know why Dordo looks like if you gave him, like, a, I don't know, a pumpkin spice latte, he would be very happy with you. You can also get it separately, too. I don't know why these pickaxes look a lot like the February 2024 uh, True Pats pickaxes. Then we have Sledge here back. He used to be a very rare skin. Sledge is from Sin X and has this Arctic Enforcer edit style. You might remember him from Chapter 2 Sin 2 as this style. You could have seen him as a henchman in the Drotto. It might have been the Drotto. Before the Drotto, like, picked a side between Ghost and Shadow. This is his little style that's kind of new and he comes with a stronghold battling. Then we have Deep Dab here from Sin 9 2. And our party hips here from Chapter 1. We just waiting for Chun Lee, then the shot would be perfect. Then we have the Escape Artist Bundle still here for all your sweats. Then we have Scorpio here, Scorpion here from Sin 5. This is her little stuff. She's a pretty nice skin. Then we have Phone It In here from Sin 6. Shanty from the Squad from Chapter 2 and 5. Rock Out here from Sin 3. Pretty nice. Then we have the Raps Attack Bundle here back. I really do not like this bundle. I don't get why it takes something back, but it comes with Camilo here from Chapter 3 Sin 4. She has the Battle Tail Edit Cell. She comes with the sweet built-in emotes. This is his. This is her little style. She has the Harps Attack Backbling. Then we have the Rap Tail Pickaxe here from Chapter 3 and 4. Same with the Raps the Raps uh, Rap here. And finally, the Street Raps Lone String here from Chapter 3 and 4. It's pretty nice Lone String. You can get it all separately besides uh, the Rap, I'm assuming. No, they made the Rap separate for once. That's good to hear, but the Lone String is exclusive to the bundle. Then we have Jump Shot here, back from Season 4. This is his letter style. I'm surprised I haven't updated it, in my opinion. Maybe give him some more detail, maybe. Then we have Slam Dunk here from Season 4. Then we have Hand Time here from Season 4. One of the first sliders to have music attached to it. Then we have Brilliant Striker here from Season 3. This is her letter style. No one will ever buy the stin properly. Then we have Insight here, an actually decent stin from Season 6. She has the black edit style. This is her letter style. Could use some work. And this is some of the slight sling back thing with the black edit style. And then we also have uh, Serpent, uh, Start Serpent here from Chapter 2, Sin 3. She has the Golden Serpent edit style. She's a pretty cool stint. This is her letter style. And she has the double fan back thing. 
with the drawing double fan editor. She fits this uh, Greek mythology theme type well. Her second style kind of fits the cast theme. So, yeah, she's a good sin. Then we have the brand new Lions uh, Night Castle build kit here. In terms of a love kit, in terms of the 90, in terms of the 90 workshop here. Uh, the 90 small keep here. The nightly large keep here, if it was spawn. The 90 ro royal mage tower. The 90 gatehouse. The night, the ninety tower, the ninety tower stairs, the ninety wall stairs, the ninety walls, the ninety wall corner. Then we had the ninety banners decor, the protector decor, the defenders design decor, the the mage or mag magic tour choice decor, the ninety workshop decor, and find the cruel the coolest keep it. It's accessory to tour the cruel, the cruel. I forget how you say it, but yeah, it's pretty nice. And you also get all separately in these little bundles here, if you would like to. It's pretty nice. I know who would buy this, which is my opinion. They should add more content to Lego for free before they start adding these, but still, yeah, they're kind of cool. Then we have Lady Dada, Lantern Fest, all the jam tracks, Star Your Engine, Rock Out with Friends, and Battle Pass, crew special offers, you get the gist. So yeah, that says I'm shop. The highlight is that we have the brand new Lion's Knight Castle kit here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.